welcome to my YouTube channel. Um, I'm gonna be posting videos about music and just kind of like fun stuff about music or maybe things you didn't know, maybe just fun things in general. So today my video is gonna be about what's in my viola case. I think it's quite a fun one to start off with. Um, it's quite, um, you know, quite interesting I find. So yeah. Before I start, I wanted to you know, just say a bit about me, um, so you can get a bit of an idea. So, hello, my name is Keely, Keely Taylor, and I'm from Hereford. Yeah, a little city in Her called Hereford. Um, I'm a violist. I play viola. Um, I actually took my grade seven last last week. Yeah, last week, and I um, I got a distinction in that, so I was very happy about that. Um, <laughs> um, oh, and there's a cat invasion. <laughs> yeah, um, I have to just move him. Can you just thank you? Okay, let me carry on. <laughs> um, I yeah, I started viola in year seven, so about four years ago now um and it's an amazing instrument please if you're a violin player and you're thinking please try it out like don't hesitate to try it out because it's an absolutely amazing instrument to play it's, it's just brilliant uh yeah i am um, i'm a violin player i i do tend to pick up my violin from time to time um but i'm not um you know i don't play every day i'm not amazing <laughs> But I, you know, I can, I can, I can play it. So I started violin in year two and I played that for four years. And then I changed to viola in year seven, which is really good. Uh, I think that's about it. Yeah. Um, I hope you took it and I will now go get my viola and I'm going to show you what's in my viola case. Okay, so we've got my viola case, um, and I'm really excited to show you. Okay, so first of all, let me just try and hold it up. This is my viola case. I love it so much. <laughs> As you can tell, it's orange. <laughs> Very bright orange. And, yeah. It's, it's, it's very, it's very, it's very good. I got it about two Christmases ago now and I honestly it's the, an amazing case it's absolutely brilliant so I'm so happy I got it um it's yeah so this case is by BAM I'm sorry this video is not sponsored by BAM but I'm just saying this case is a BAM case it has as you can see um ooh, these cool like backpack straps which are very good very handy and Oh, another cat invasion. Sorry about this. It has a handle here, and then uh, and also the straps are really cool because they're held on by like those carabiners. So they're definitely. I don't know if you can see that thing there. They're definitely not going to fall off. Like no way. And also on here, it has these, which is really good because I'm not a fan of zips. I mean. <laughs> They're quite, I mean, I mean, it may seem quite uh, lazy, but they're quite time consuming and it's nice just to kind of click it shut in like an instant, so that's really good. Um, one thing I would say about the case is, um, Bam said it was scratch proof. It's not, which is a bit of a downside, but you know, it's, I mean, everything can't be perfect. So yeah, um, but all in all, it is a really amazing case. So yeah. Right, we'll get to inside the case now. So, I'm just gonna, you won't be able to see me doing this, but I'll have all everything else. So, we have, um, first of all, we have my viola. This is my viola. <laughs> I, I do love my viola, it is, I, it's just amazing. Um, this is actually my second viola I've had. I had one before, uh, which was, it was okay. It wasn't amazing. It was, it was, it was good. Um, but 
I got gifted this year and I named her Jazz. So this is Jazz. <laughs> yeah, I, I like naming my instruments. Um, I think it kind of makes you have a more personal connection with the instrument, which is quite cool. Uh, I haven't named my clarinet. That is, I haven't figured out my name for that yet, but I've named my piano. My piano is called Amy, but yeah, I need to name a clarinet. So I'll try, I'll have, I'll think of something. So yeah, this is my viola. Uh, yeah. It's just, it's amazing really, I, I love it. Okay, also, I have this um, duster. It's from Worcester Cathedral. <laughs> um, it's just to kind of lay on the top, which kind of protects the strings. And also it's quite good if you've got like rosin and stuff. Like, and it doesn't, you don't want like, to bring your instrument. So that's always good. The next thing I have is my bow. Uh, now, my bow did not come with the viola. I actually bought this separately. Uh, yeah, I this bow is really good. I mean, I I tried loads. <laughs> I, I probably, I'm quite an indecisive person and I think I took quite a long time trying to decide what bow to get. I tried carbon fiber and, but I think this one was really the best. I mean, <laughs> I mean, it's kind of what it is really, but it's made with um, Pernambuco wood, which is supposed to be really good. And it's, um, it's the, it's the, sh the shaft, the shaft of Brazil? <laughs> I'm not really sure, but this one was recommended, so. <laughs> but like, I'm, if you're, if you're a little violin player or string player, I can't even recommend a bow because we're all kind of different. I had my heart set on a, um, like, I really wanted a, um, carbon fiber one, but like, actually when i actually got there they were quite expensive and i thought and actually the wooden one was better in a way so yeah this is my bow yes i actually i only have two bows i mean you don't really need two bows but i this isn't i didn't buy this one this one came with my old viola and it's it's not as good <laughs> you can definitely tell the difference from when you actually buy a really good bow um it's yeah, it's okay. I mean, it's a bit old now, but yeah, it's it's okay. Like if my bow ever broke, touch wood, doesn't. <laughs> but it's just kind of spare if it does. I heard um, a lot of rumors about how your bow is supposed to be worth a quarter of the price of your instrument. Um, <laughs> I know. Um, I I think it is. If you're professional, then sure, go for it. But I think if you have an expensive instrument is going to be quite expensive for a bow and it's kind of a bit I know I think it's a bit unnecessary if you're I think when you get professional it probably is but for if you're in school then maybe not okay so next I have my viola rest this is my rest my shoulder rest um it's it's good I mean I haven't had really much experience with shoulder rests I've just kind of bought this one uh, I think this one was about 30 pound I mean yeah does the job it's pretty good <laughs> nothing really else to say about it I mean if you're one of those people who uh, you know I can't really help you because I've never had a bad shoulder rest which just keeps falling off it's not really something I've ever had so if I can't I'm sorry I can't really help you <laughs> if you want advice on what shoulder rest to get because this one's good, you know what I mean? This one's, this one's Everest. Um, you can get them for violin as well, so if you're a violin player watching this, um, you can get them for violin. I'll just show you how it goes on. Um, so it goes on like this, and I always imagine it going like, goes on like this. Then you just kind of gently slide it on. And I always think of it as like having like a frown, like it's a frown face. <laughs> but yeah, and then when you uh, play it, just like that, you can feature them like this. So yeah, it's quite, it's really useful. Okay, the next thing I have is, band cases are really good, and they actually came with this um, like cool pouch thing, which I've got like everything in, which is, I just kind of shoved it all in here. <laughs> okay, I actually can't remember what's in here, so some of this could be quite alarming. <laughs> Take it all out. Oh, okay. 
I have rosin. Now, I'm, I really, really want to finish a rosin. I've never finished a rosin. Um, I really want to finish one. It's just, it's kind of like the exciting part of finishing it. Um, this one is supposed to be good. I don't know if you can see this. It's probably back to front, but you know, um, yeah. Um, I bought this one went with my bow and actually I didn't realize that um, the rosin that actually came with my instrument was exactly the same. <laughs> I didn't realize until, but it's, it's always good to have a, a spare one. So I think that's always good to have a spare one. Um, so that's always good. Actually, I might take it out and show you what it looks like. It's like, it's not shiny anymore. It was shiny. I actually had to, um, it, it was weird. It was like, it came and it wasn't on. So if, if your rosin like ever falls off like the piece of cloth, just literally get like a lighter and heat it up and then just stick it on. Cause it's just, that's what happened to mine. So, okay, I was gonna have another rosin. This is, this is the one that came with my old view though. And actually you can actually tell the difference. This one is, um, this one's like ambery and I, you can tell it's not as good. It's kind of, it's not as like sticky. I find the other one's really sticky and it really helps grip the bow onto the strings. So I, you can definitely tell the difference between a good, a good expensive rosin and a cheap one. I have the tag that came with my viola bow, which was quite, I, I know I wanted to keep it, it for a little memory that came in my bow. Um, I have, um, this is, um, I don't know. This is um like it looks like lipstick. Oh, it's not. It's um it's cork. Cork grease. I don't really know what to. That's something of crown It's like peg, not cork. Oh my god, what am I doing? It's <laughs> it's peg um thing, peg like stick <laughs> thing. It makes them like not so stiff. It makes them go smooth, but. I have never, I just have it. I don't use it because my bags are pretty good. I mean, <laughs> haven't really become experienced with it. Um, I also have keys. Now these keys came with a go case. Um, don't use keys on your case. Like, at, like just for general. I mean, if I was on a plane, yes, I'd use it on my case if I was on a plane. But like every day, don't. Because if you lose the key and you know, <laughs> you're just gonna you're gonna be stuck with a lot of viola case so yeah i mean if you're a professional violist and you go and travel the world and yeah keys are good keys are really good for your case i also have um this is a really old-fashioned view um i have a more hold on i'll show you so if you look on my viola there's a little like rubber thing and what you do is you put it on like this and it mutes the sound of the viola which is really cool um, it says in the music when to put my mute on. I can't actually remember what it is, like the Italian word, because I haven't played an orchestra for a very long time because of COVID. And yeah, it's quite, yeah, it's quite upsetting. Um, but I'll try and remember it, but I can't remember, but I'll actually play you what it sounds like. Interesting. Okay, interesting. Let me just do my bow up. So this is it without the mute. I'll just play like a note without the, without the mute. So this is it. This is this is normal. So this is what you probably hear every day, like. And then you have maybe the mute on. Some music. Um, I 
don't put every I don't know actually remember what I've got in here. I don't put everything in here. Um I've just got some kind of random stuff. Yeah, just stuff that's quite old music. Um, also some more new, recent music. Um, I've also got my orchestra music, um, which unfortunately I've still got. <laughs> Probably, um, which is quite strange. Um, yeah, I haven't had a chance to get it back yet because of COVID and yeah. Yeah, it's quite weird actually looking back at that from orchestra music. So, yeah. Oh, I've also got at the bottom here um, these viola strings. Um, these are all my. These are the ones that. These these are good. Um, I don't know if you can see that, but they're a good brand. Uh, these are. These are the strings that I put on my old viola, and they made it sound really good. So I definitely get those um but yeah i think i think that's it uh i think that's all i've that's my viola case um i really hope you enjoyed it and i might and i'm yeah i might do one of these for my planet so but yeah i really hope you enjoyed that video so thank you for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye.